the checklist that we use for the Raising the Bar 27 is basically for the operatives to go around and inspect the traffic management that they've put out. Broadly looking for areas where vehicle incursion is highly likely. We know that access points is the most likely area where, where we're gonna get vehicles coming into the site. And we wanna make sure that all the signage is out correctly and that there is nothing that's gonna mislead or confuse the public that will result in a vehicle incursion. Other areas such as the airlocks, is to make sure that we've got the barriers going from boundary to boundary. The Race in the Bar document details each area of the site where we believe that incursions can occur and how we're then gonna mitigate against that. It's very important as well to carry out the checklist so that we can identify areas that perhaps the designer has, has not identified during his assess and address part of the design. If the designer isn't told, he is not gonna know, he is always gonna get it wrong. Your input into that process is valuable so that we learn from these mistakes and then the likelihood of incursions reduces to the point whereby we've almost eliminated it. Good maintenance is carried out at regular intervals at two hours or less, whichever is uh, dictated by the site, is going to help in reducing the likelihood of incursions. There are situations where a run of cones can get knocked out and if we're not checked on a regular basis, we are going to see more and more vehicles coming into the site. You should have sufficient stocks of that equipment on the back of your vehicle to carry it out without having to go back to, to the yard to pick up more. Should you need more, then you should notify the TSCO immediately that there is a problem and you're awaiting more equipment to come onto site. So we use the RTB27 checklist to ensure that we're compliant with the design, we're compliant with the drawings, but we've also identified any other areas that might have been missed and then we can get those sorted out as soon as possible, ensuring that any changes that we make to the traffic management layout have been recorded and fed back to the designer for future designs at that location or other areas. The inspection should be carried out generally by the TSCO or the traffic management foreman. By not checking the site and maintaining it at regular intervals, you are putting your colleagues, the workforce and the general public at risk and also could lead you liable if any accident were to occur. I'm doing my bit to keep the roads safer for everyone. Please do your bit so we can all get home safe and well.